All right, what's going on, you guys? Welcome to Real Madrid Hub again. I'm your host, Dr. Hoda, and as usual, every day I'm gonna give you the latest updates on our team, Real Madrid, which is, of course, something really important because we are gonna start with the few short lists that we have of possible potential signings for next year, and of course. There are not many players left, of course, after all the big teams in Europe have gone to the market and have signed every single thing. They have fished where Real Madrid that, I mean, didn't, and that is the only thing that we have. If we want to go now and try to sign anybody, there's not many players left, so that is the problem. But although it is a very short market, let me tell you all, we'll still have options and very good options to uh, sign for the next year. So let me go ahead and click on here in Defensa Central where they are showing off a kind of list that Real Madrid has in order for them to play some of the most interesting and hot players right now available for this um, transfer window okay so let me go ahead and start with talking about Sesco Sesco is the um, Salzburg player he is the ninth uh, replacement the striker the, the replacement for Erling Haaland uh, when he left Salzburg a uh, couple of years ago the player is amazing is a very super tall guy like six foot five or something like that scoring goals uh, scoring goals all the time 19 years old um, he has a contract until 2025, I think, and Real Madrid might be interested in signing him because in 1,500 minutes, he has scored already 10 to 12 goals, something like that, right? So he's very, you know, he, he's very sharp when it comes to um, scoring goals. He's all the time there. In the last goal he scored, it was last night against Liverpool, which is good. Um, of course, number two, that'd be... Timo Werner, the German player, is about to leave Chelsea, but we already don't know um, what the destination is going to look like. I mean, it might be Newcastle, it might be Juventus, it might be Real Madrid. To me, some people, I've been debating a little bit with some Madridistas regarding to the possibility for Timo Werner to show up and sign for Real Madrid. And to me, it is not a bad choice considering it's a perfect replacement for Karim Benzema, who is going to be in the first position in the lineup of Carlo Ancelotti. So we are not trying to sign a number one top option right now because to me, there's no top soccer players right now in this moment, at least to meet the expectations of Real Madrid. So we will have to wait a little bit more, but we still have options like Timo Werner. The third one, that would be Leroy Sané. The Bayern Munich player has had a very, not very regular season. And I don't think he's very happy with his situation right now in the German team. So I think he would be okay signing for Real Madrid. The thing is, if Real Madrid is also okay signing the player off, if we have any kind of interest on the player. So we will have to wait a little bit more. More things regarding to Rudiger. Well, this is the short list that we have to sign players. Okay, there's another one. Okay, this guy is called um, Amine Guidi. He's a French player, very promising and rising star in France. But the problem is, he's so young. And if you sign a very young player, I mean, you already have to Miguel Latasa which is good enough to replace Karim Benzema every time he's out, right? So there's no point to me in signing at. Um, let me see. Amine Guiri, okay, that is the name. So next one, it's gonna be an update on Rudiger and Tuamini. And the reason for it is because a lot of people out there are thinking about the uh, role these players are gonna have in the next Real Madrid. And for some of y'all, Rudiger and Tuamini will play in the lineup of Real Madrid as of the next season. But to me, that is not possible considering the other day, Carlo Ancelotti said that the champions of the last Champions League are going to start off in the starting 11 um, in the next European Super Cup. So the starting 11 is going to look like with the same old players that in the last final of the Champions League, which means Chouameni and Rudiger will not be there. If we keep this in mind, Mendy will be in the um, left wing and also Alaba will be in the center back. There's no room enough for Rudiger to play again. And also Chouameni, who will be 
might be in the bench while Casemiro is taking over that position. So to me, there's no point. I mean, I really understand though why Carlo Ancelotti is in somehow uh, giving a prize to the players that really won the last title because to me, that is good enough to repeat again in the starting eleven. But if you sign new players, young players, for example, I'm talking about the case of Chuameni, that is because you are ready, you're willing to line up these players as of the next season. There's no point in signing players and keeping them on the bench, right? So let's see what happens. But for now, Rudiger and Chuameni will have to wait a little bit more to be in the lineup of Carlo Ancelotti. And the latest thing I have for you all guys is about Cristiano Ronaldo because we've just learned Cristiano Ronaldo will be released of Manchester United although he um, he had I think that he still had one more year contract. I was hesitating about one or two but it's okay. He still had a one year contract and he will be released of Manchester United which means he doesn't have still a new destination we don't really know what is he going to play as of the next season but he will cut off completely the contract with Manchester United he will split and he will be out of the Red Devils as of I mean right now maybe or maybe one two hours or something like that but the thing is the player really wants to play in the Champions League and of course he doesn't really want to stay any longer in Manchester United the other day well it was yesterday I think Manu signed from the Arioas revealed Cristiano Ronaldo and Ten Hag had a very bad argument in the locker room re regarding to his future because Eddie Ten Hag is still convinced the player is important for the squad but the player really doesn't want to play anymore in Manchester United he wants to leave he wants to resolve completely his contract situation and get out right so that is the thing that we have so far regarding to Cristiano Ronaldo and of course this is all I have for you all guys today now let me know your thoughts about that just comment in the section below and of course subscribe my channel Ramadi Hub